Hey everyone, this is Data Engine on Complicated. I'm Adriano and today we're going to be talking about how to create points from X and Y coordinates with FME. So in this video we're going to be covering how to convert lat and long coordinates into points in FME 2019 from a CSV file. We're then going to project the points into a web map projection and then write the points in FME to a shape file and geo package. All right, so for this example, we're going to be using data from GeoNames, which is cities around the world. So all I've done so far in my workbench is I've brought in that CSV file. I've used an attribute transformer to assign column names to it. And if we look at the visual preview of the uh, columns, what we can see is we have two columns that we're going to be using to create the points, which is latitude and longitude. Now, if we look at the graphics preview, we notice that we don't have any geometry. So what we're going to do is the first step is to create those points in FME. Now, we're going to be doing that using the vertex creator. So all I'm going to do now is connect my attribute manager to my vertex creator. Now, the wheel is still red, so we still have to assign some parameters. So the first step is we need to set the mode. The mode is going to be add point. X value is going to be set to the longitude column. And then the Y value is going to be set to the latitude column. All right, I'm going to accept that. Now, if we run that tool, what we should see in our visual inspector is that we're going to have some points. And we do. So the next step is to assign the, or add the transformer, the Esri reprojector. Now I'm going to connect that to the Esri reprojector. And as a result of FME 2019, you no longer need an Esri license for the Esri reprojector to work. So now it's asking for the source coordinate system. Now, because the data is coming as lat and long, it is not a projected coordinate system. It's actually a geographic coordinate system. And it is the uh, WGS 1984. Now we're going to set the destination coordinate system. And we're going to choose G WGS 1984 Web Auxiliary Sphere. OK. And now we are ready to write our data. So now you can write it to any uh, GIS format that you're, you're used to using or you need to use. But in my example, I'm going to write it to an Esri shapefile. I'm going to set it to that file there. Um, now if I hit OK, it's going to ask me what do you want to call the file. Let's call it cities projected. OK. And now that will write. Um, let's also. That's another format. Let's use the, the most common QGIS format, which is GeoPackage. OK. I'm going to write it to a file called Cities uh, GeoPackage. It's going to ask me for the table names, called Cities Projected. OK. And now we should write with no problems. All right, so now my data is writing. All right, and it's finished. Now let's open it up in QGIS. All right, so as you see in QGIS, both layers work perfectly. So I hope you've learned how to create points from attribute columns in FME. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.